vision because that works. <laughs> okay, chapter 10 this time. Oop. Oh, it works. Okay. It works. Okay. It took me a while to say that then. I'm the battery pain. might die again though. That's the problem. I'm in pain. Right, let's Danny go. Danny, point of view, let's go and hope this works. <laughs> what did I do the next day? I stayed home because I woke with a killer headache and my banged up knee was dark blue. I felt like the f human version of Fifty Shades of Blue instead of grey. <laughs> my doctor's appointment was moved from after school to as soon as mum comes home. On one hand, I was very happy to be staying home. I couldn't fight with anyone that way. Aaron still hadn't texted me. On the other hand, holy shit, Aaron still hadn't texted me and I wouldn't be seeing him today in school. Yes, I was hor horribly anxious about losing my best friend, but let's be honest, who isn't? Without a best friend, you're like a half that keeps finding little pieces of your other half. Yes, I'm referring to the boys of Hollywood and Dead as other small pieces about me. Think about it. It fits. Matt was my bones. He held me upright, secured. I wouldn't fall over. George was my voice of reason. He kept me from thinking that I actually meant something to them. Dark, I know. Drell was my conscious. He was there, but not always talking to me. Most of the times, you won't even notice him until you need him. Jordan was my humour. He cracked jokes, made me laugh, and made me discover a humour humor inside I never knew I had to join in the laughter. And Dylan. Dylan is my heart. He flows through my veins. He is the reason I am alive. And if I breathe, it's to stay with him. All day I tried to watch television because I couldn't quite move around as well. Do you have any idea what's on television when you're sick? Nothing. Mostly when you're off to do something absolutely boring or even something fun with family and friends, your favourite show's on. But when you stay at home because you're sick, you think your favourite show would actually play, but no. All I saw was some shitty cartoon. I threw my head back and out, out something between a sigh and a moan. Why? Why? Why wouldn't anything interesting play? Ah, oh, Dexter Laboratory on! I did. As soon as the words left my mouth, I looked around the house. No window or door was opened. No one had heard me. Good. That would have been embarrassing. Because being 17 and still watching cartoon was not all that cool. I lowered my voice and said, I'm a man, I tell you. I'm a man. My phone buzzed. <laughs> hey, baby, what are you wearing? I face palmed and replied, Should I be wearing something? Nasty, I like it. You sick? Not really sick. Rather banged up. Was I ever too rough last night? You know what I like. Yeah, my knees all bruised and my head hurts like crazy. My knees can be following the colours of the rainbow this week. Fabulous. Is it okay if I come by after school? I got your homework. Yeah, sure. I smiled and was reminded of how much Jordan resembled the humour in me. Even now, I joked with him about things I wouldn't, I would never even get to joke about with Arrow. He never understood why I was acting so silly on my phone. No? Don't you dare. Don't you dare think. If you can't fool around, he's not your best friend. He is my best friend. He was always there for me when I needed him. And I was always there when he needed me. We watched our series together all the time. He came by and announced all the time and I did the same. What? You think it's all changed now because he hadn't come by yet? He would. He'd come visit me because I was sick, right? In the afternoon, I received a text again. Matt, your boyfriend's looking for you. I frowned and thought about it. I texted Jordan this morning. He knows I'm at home. The reply made me blush. I was talking about Aaron. You having an affair with JT? No. As soon as Matt would ask Jordan, he'd know we were just joking around. But for now, I just wanted to fool him. Aaron was looking for me. That's right, I forgot to text him I was sick. I opened my chat box with him, pouting as our last message seemed ages ago. I was sick at home. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Right after I hit send, I received a message. Where are you? Two minutes later. Oh, it's okay. Can I come by tonight? It felt strange how Aaron was asking me if he could come by when normally he didn't even ask but just walked in. I guess since we were fighting he didn't want to be rude and just in like... He was the king, like he didn't even know whether or not I was angry, or so bashful, as he'd call it. Yeah, so Jordan's coming by after school to drop my homework, so if you don't want to see him, you're going to have to wait a while. You're angry, aren't you, Max? <laughs> the question came as a surprise. I wasn't angry with Aaron. If anything, he should be angry because I'm hanging with his ex-friends, even though I don't see the problem in that. Why in the world would he think the world's reversed? 
Why do you think I'm angry? Lack of X's. You always said you didn't send X's when you were angry, just like I do. X. Oh, I hadn't noticed. I don't send X's to the guys, so I guess I kind of forgot. X. The guys? X. I immediately regretted I had said that, but in the end I felt renewed pride. Why should I have to hide that I've been texting with them? If I wasn't hiding, I was hanging out with them. If I wasn't hiding, I was texting them either. Hollywood and Dad, Jordan texted me about homework and yesterday I asked if I was okay. Would he have heard about my accident? Probably not, since I'm not world class news in school. And Aaron doesn't talk directly to the Hollywood and Dad guys. Were you not okay, X? Tried to skate, fell hard. My knees bruised up and my head hurts like hell. I also have this awesome scrape on my arm. The best thing is it's beginning to puss like crazy, X. <coughs> Ew. <laughs> Did I enjoy infected wounds? No, hell no. That's why I was being sarcastic as fuck. No one ever seemed to pick up on written sarcasm, but Aaron always did. He knew exactly when I was being sarcastic. But he... But he always uh, had to ask just to be sure. Just like now. Sounds painful. Sarcasm? X. Yeah, and it was very painful. Blacked out for a bit, but Dylan drove me home. X. It's not that funny. Wow. What? You forgot. Hang on. We forgot to close the door. We're geniuses. We can. That was the end of it. I didn't text Aaron anymore. He probably stopped because class had begun. But I stopped because I felt because it felt weird. It was like he was being cautious as to not to upset me, but at the same time upset himself. I broke my head over it. I wanted to to find out how he'd react tonight. Would he pretend nothing happened? Question me. I really didn't know. By the time I was about to flip out because of the, the pressure, the bell rang. Out of habit, I shouted, Mom! Then I felt horribly stupid about it because my mum was at work and school was over, which meant it was Jordan. I got up slowly, feeling embarrassed when I thought Jordan might have heard me calling for my mum. They certainly weren't the type who would yell for their mum because they were too shy to open the door for strangers. Halfway to the hallway, Jordan rang the bell again. I'm on my way! My knee's bruised, remember? I opened the door with a half smile. Jordan waved at me with too much energy. Dylan standing behind me, looking at the street with his back to the house. Hey! How's that sicko Daniel Murillo? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan asked with a grin and let himself in. He whistled. Dylan! <laughs> the Mexican turned around and got in as well. I thought I'd check up on you. He explained when he saw my questioning gaze. Jordan dumped the homework on the table and put both thumbs up at me. You. You are awesome. We got math thinking we're having an affair. Everyone knew it was a joke, but the stupid global fool believes you. Really? No. How global do you think Matt is? Jordan asked. If you believed us, I'd seriously be worried. He knows I'm as straight as a line when I'm sober. He laughed at himself. Only when I'm sober. <laughs> what about me? I complained. But suddenly I feared the reply. Dylan chuckled. You might be curved. <laughs> I widened my eyes but relaxed when he laughed harder. I'm kidding. I knew that, I said oh, awkwardly. Finally, we've finally done it. We've finally done it and the battery hasn't died, which is good. Yeah. Uh, 